Okay, now let us define what is a propositional logic. So the area of logic that deal with propositions is called propositional calculus or it is called as propositional logic. Now I have taught you what is meant by propositions. Now we are going to play with these propositions. It is just like numbers. In your earlier classes, you learned numbers from 1 to 100. But then after learning those numbers from 1 to 100, you started combining them. You started adding them. You started subtracting them. Similarly, now you have propositions in your hand and you know that proposition is either true or false. So now we will start combining the propositions. So that is meant by compound propositions. So what are compound propositions? new propositions formed from the existing propositions okay like 2 plus 3 2 minus 3 from numbers you started developing additions subtractions so now you have your propositions here you have p you have q you have r suppose you have three propositions and you want to make some combination and form a form a new proposition so what is such a new proposition called this proposition is formed because of p q and r that proposition is called as a compound proposition. Now there are various types of compound propositions. OK, so let me just swap to the various types of compound propositions. So the first proposition compound pro proposition is a negation. This negation. So if a proposition is denoted by P, what is negation denoted by negation is denoted by this symbol. The symbol is called tilde. OK. So this is a negation of a proposition. The next proposition is conjunction. So I have two propositions uh, P and Q. Suppose I'm having two con uh, two propositions. What is the conjunction? The conjunction is nothing but P and Q. This is again a new symbol for you. What is the disjunction? I have two propositions. I'm going to de denote the disjunction by P or Q. The next proposition is compound proposition is exclusive or I have two propositions P and Q. I'm going to denote the exclusive or by P ring sum Q. Next is conditional proposition. I have P and Q. I'm going to denote the conditional proposition by P implies Q. So this is said to be implies. And the last is biconditional proposition. What is the biconditional statement? I'm going to I have two propositions P and Q. I'm going to denote the biconditional by what P if and only if Q. So these are the various types of compound propositions. OK, now we will one by one. Study each of these quickly. So the first compound proposition that we are going to study is a negation. What is the definition of a negation? So if P is a proposition, then negation of P is denoted by the symbol. The symbol is used in the books, but I will be using for my convenience. We, we can also use tilde. So let me write or. It is up to your comfort. If you feel comfortable writing like this or if you feel comfortable writing like this, it is up to you. So what is the negation of P? Negation of P means it is not the case that P. This is the definition of negation. There is no pollution in the city. So obviously this is clear to all of you that there is pollution in the city. So negation of Q is there is pollution in the city. The third is let me take one more example. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. What is the negation of R? So the negation of R is 2 plus 1 is not equal to 3. This will be the negation of our statement. 